Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is array? The clear node. I've created this quick little example here. Let's go ahead and check out the clear node itself, and then we'll run through the example. So our clear node is pretty easy. It has an input execute, an output execute, and then an array for the input. Now keep in mind it is a wildcard node. It's going to take any array type and then change itself accordingly. So for example here, what I'm doing is taking the length of our array, printing it to screen, and I'm going to print it in a blue color. Then I'm going to clear the array, and then print out the array again in a red color for the length. And I'm also going to pause it so I can show you first off. So let's run this, and let's look at this. Well, actually this probably would have been more helpful. My object array has five elements. So we have a length of five, and we have two of them filled in with the rest being none. So if we go ahead and pause it after our first print string, and we look at our array, you can see we have five entries, a zero through four for our index. If I resume, after the clear, and we look at our array, the current value is now nothing. We have nothing in our array anymore. If we hit resume, you'll see we started with five, and we ended with zero for our print strings. And that's it. Clear node simply takes in an array and clears it out. One thing to keep in mind, since you are doing direct array manipulation, try not to do a clear inside of something like a loop. Your loop is going to look at your array when it starts and use the index. If you clear it out in the middle of it, its index is not going to be valid anymore and your loop is going to have an issue. So keep that in mind. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.